Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to New Planet Cybertron Reviews. Today, we will review this guy right here. Uh, it's, it's an old figure from back in 2005. This is Cybertron Soundwave. It's a futuristic spacecraft. And I... I don't watch the uh, Cybertron series actually, I watch the Galaxy Force series where this thing is known as Force Chip instead of Cyber Planet Keys. So it's like, you know, in Japan, they'll do something like this snaps in, uh, then the fellow will go and yell Force Chip Ignition or something like that. Then plug in, you know, all the animation stuff. Yeah. So, this is, uh, he's from Planet X, you can see the Takara 2005 here. So, uh, what this does is that you can attach it here. And when you attach it here, it kind of opens up this compartment. To reveal a bomb barrel. More on this in a short while. Let's put that to the side. And here you have this, the weapon module. Uh, just take it out slowly. Now, uh, because this is an old figure, and uh, you know sometimes shit happens with your figures when you're fiddling with it. You see this, this tab, there's supposed to be another tab here, but it broke. I foresee that this might broke sooner or later. So far this side is kind of okay. Uh, so for size comparison, let's bring out punch, counter punch. From the Power of the Prime series. Yeah. See a difference? Side difference? Mm -hmm. You see? You see? Okay. Now, to transform him, uh, okay, the one thing I kind of have a problem is that this. Oh, this side always split out. So this, uh, since it's split, we might as well do this. This, it kind of like open this up, turn this entire section, uh, wiggle this thing out, turn it around, pull this up. You see this square tab here? It goes to the square slot here so it's like it doesn't actually tap that nicely but you can hear a, a, um, a slight click there then this groin piece 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 oh shit, piece this thing right here this tap goes into this hole right here and let me see yeah. No, oh, and you normally it works just fine, but now you just want to sh do. Ah, ha! There you go. Now you want to put the back down uh, to the front, put the feet, foot, legs to the front, like this. Open this up. Push it to tip forward and the heel spur at the back. And you'll have him standing just like that. I'm gonna adjust this camera a bit so that you can see the rest of him. Oops. Okay, there you go. So, what you wanna do is now you have the lower half done. Next see this this is the hand 
this you gotta detach this because there's a peg here okay pull this outward like this then the bottom part you want to do the same with it okay you just split it open like that this wing piece fold it down now you want to turn everything this is a, you can see the head to the back oh yeah see this you need to push it upward a bit first it was like this early on uh, early on it was like this but in order for you to lock the hands properly you need to tilt this entire portion up okay then you know angle it so that it kind of flushes with the back like this you see that hole this tab right here goes into that hole same things that here there's two tabs two holes plug in that way so now you have the the uh, what do you call it you have this the hands this portion now this this is a problem piece right here because it always like you know get in between the stuff that you want to do because the, the, the problem is this wind flap doesn't flap doesn't close to the back or anything but the, well this you just want to rest it like that put it forward like that first now for this turn it around flip this entire hand forward then you have the hands so by virtue of the uh, the design of this thing which kind of gets in a way with the back piece it kind of have to do like this most of the time so there you go the robot mode Okay. Uh, before I go to the accessories, all this, let's do the, uh, ah yeah, size comparison. This is a Voyager class. Here he is with leader class, uh, six shot. And here he is with Deluxe class Optimus Prime War Within from the Generations line. Yeah. Articulation wise, his head is on a ball joint. Yeah, he can wiggle his head. Yeah. The uh, hands turns, the arm turns. So there's a bit of a like, you know, the shoulder tilt forward thingy here. It's a transformation joint, but it works. The arm twists slightly below the uh, the, the the elbow, and it. Uh, this is on a ratchet joint, soft ratchet joint. Then the elbow bends 90 degrees. That's about it. It's the same thing for this side. The hips, there's a hip flap here. And here. So just in case if you wish to use this joint. This is on a uh, soft yet sturdy ratchet joint. And it can move in all direction. Then uh, the...
the, uh, the, the, the knee bends very tightly. It's all on a very hard ratchet joint. Yeah, and it's kind of scary. And uh, now for this part, you probably you can use it as a uh, uh, articulation joint, but it's kind of scary. Scary in the sense that, ooh, I break my leg. The fella can literally break his legs. You don't really use it anyway in pose uh, in most of his poses, and of course this. Now this works just the same way as it meant to in the vehicle mode. You just tap it in. Where's the tap? Okay, here. Need a small outer back. Plug it in like this, and it will open up this compartment. Now, as with the original Soundwave, the G1 Soundwave figure, when he opens up the chest, out comes a cassette. And the first of those is Laser Beak. This barrel right here is Laser Beak. Now to transform laser beak, all I need to do is open up the side, scratch everything, spread everything outward, all the pointy parts, open it outwards. Now you can see the tail feathers, you can see the head here, see? And the legs. Now, I think the movie, the ROTF, uh, no, the Dark of the Moon film, kind of takes inspiration from this guy because this is actually turbine. You see this. It looks like a turbine. So it, it, it kind of gives him the way, I mean, the means to fly. Now, what I like about this is that he has a tab here. See this? There's a tab right about there. Okay? So the reason for that tab is that you see here? There are two holes here and here. What you can do, you can have him, laser beak, perch on his on a sound wave's wing like a nice pet. And it packs in kind of solidly. Yep, like this. Nicely done. Very nicely done indeed. Let me adjust this a bit. Just a little bit. There you go. And with these two, this you can swing it outward. Swing this entire portion out. Now before that, you need to pull this out this will be the handle and pull this out sometimes these things can be a pain in a butt okay there you go so this is suppose we put this to a side first then this one we will need to take out these two stuffs take this out as well Hold up. I need to wash this up. Yeah. Now, this kind of depends on what you want to do with it. This goes here. You 
there's a hole here actually you see there's a hole here so this will snap into there wait a minute oh this oh sorry this is supposed to be the gut like this you're supposed to put there like this sorry my mistake and then this will go into the arm okay uh, I like to put it here because you know, this side kind of gets in the way with a lot of things so kind of goes right about here Mine kind of doesn't want to go in. There you go. So this is Soundwave in all his glory. Really nice. Now let's transform him back to his spaceship mode. If I can take this out. Yeah, fine. Now, let's put him to the side first. Oops. Now, transform him first. You want to angle the legs like this. You see this stub here? It goes in between the toes of laser beak. Okay. Close it up. Push the head down. Push it all the way. Push the tail feathers all the way as well. Close this. Then. So, close. All of this to form a barrel. Now if you like you can just stuff it inside uh, sound waves chest uh, for storage like this there you go put it to the side now this guy just close everything back up put it to one side now this flip in flip this in as well flip this one in then the entire thing flip in now next to transform him unpack the arms this way which kind of releases the entire back now you probably want to pull it all the way to the back like this now you start to work with this arm first. Close this thing up. You can see the wheels. Where is it? Uh, the wheels down here. So this naturally will be at the bottom here. The wheels will protrude here. So what you want to do is angle it downward. This is how you do with the hands. So what you want to do is turn it around like this. This this side, what you see right now, this will be facing here. So you need to wedge the thing, and as you do, make sure the wheels are in this direction. Okay. So now you want to wedge this in. Now again, be careful because this figure has a lot of taps. You see this? There's a tap here, the flimsy tap here. It will hook on to a hole there. There is also another, the same tap and hole here, but my tap broke off. Hmm, I wonder why. I can't even remember when I broke it. I bought this figure in 2000, 
five, I think, or was it two thousand six? And it broke up, broke off. Sorry. Then, anyway, this you wanna extend it like this, this piece. Flip it down like this, and you see this. There's a hole here. See, see, see. It goes there, the tap there. So it kind of you need to align the entire thing. Tap it in there. Now this will go here eventually. We just prepare it that way first. Now for the legs. Groin piece. Open it up. Close it up. Like this. This entire piece, swing it forward. Now, when you swing this forward, you need to open this leg up a bit. Close. Leg. Now. Remember the uh, leg breaking thingy that I showed you about? This, you need to angle it downward like this. Then, kind of like uh, this pointy part will slot into the pointy slot here. And you see this tap? This hole, it will tap to this peg here so you want to like oh yeah one more thing you see this this tap there is also another hole here I don't know if you can see that there so you want to like first wedge the legs in to that to this part okay do it for both legs It doesn't go in easily sometimes. Oh boy. Right, there you go. Okay. There you go. Now the thing is sometimes when you slot in one area, the other area gets loose. Case in point right now. There you go. Then close this up. Make sure the leg parts taps in to the cockpit piece. The thing is sometimes when you press here to align it, this thing will pop out. So you need to like find that sweet spot. Yep, sweet spot. There you go. Then, down here, this goes here. Uh, sorry, this goes here. Now, supposedly, you let it slide like this in. Slide in. Like this. Slide in. Then, for me, I like to, you see this white piece? Kind of like push it downward so it goes below that hook so that kind of locks it in quite nicely then this part kind of like uh, just tap in to the side uh, the best is you see this it kind of hooks on this part so just align it properly. Mm -hmm. Then it kind of hooks on. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of long review. There you have it, Cybertron Soundwave. Now, if you like this video, if you think this video has been quite informative for you. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up down there.
and subscribe to the video. Thanks for watching.